Welcome to our presentation. Thanks for coming. I'm Jeff Boxer. During the last several years, we photographers have spent a lot of time discussing the digital age. While most of us have made the switch to the digital process, with all of the camera, computer, and endless software upgrades, few of us have taken the time to rethink a critical area of the equipment we need to make great images, our camera support gear. This equipment has gone through some notable changes, and today we're going to discuss those changes, the reasons for obtaining the new gear, and demonstrate methods for employing it. We'll be examining the features, advantages, and benefits of the materials and designs of modern tripods, tripod heads, monopods, and camera attaching mechanisms. We're going to go far beyond the classic need for keeping the camera still. Let's take a look. For today's demo, I'm going to show you examples of the three systems I use on a regular basis. A very large carbon fiber tripod with four-piece legs and matching ball head. A very compact ultra-light carbon fiber tripod and matching ball head. And last but definitely not least, one of my favorite tools, an ultra-light, ultra-compact carbon fiber monopod. It might surprise some of you that I use it in the studio on a regular basis when shooting my adventure sports and health and fitness lifestyle images. The camera support gear for today's demo has been provided by Enduro, a relatively newcomer to the industry, but definitely one to watch. Let's get started with one of the classic environments for employing this equipment, the production studio. For most of us, the main applications for studio photography are products and people. Let's start with a still life I'm producing for a new health and fitness book that will feature both nutritional guides and exercise disciplines. This is going to be a chapter opening, two-page spread on healthy cooking. In creating the shot, we're using the extra-large carbon fiber model with matching ball head and quick-release mechanism. I've chosen this tripod and its features for the following reasons. This combo will serve as a classic rock-solid platform for just about anything I'll need to shoot in the studio. It'll hold everything from a DSLR to a view camera. While the four-piece legs allow me to get pretty low, I can also use the knockouts to spread them even further if I want to do an up-angle hero shot or for leveling on uneven ground outside. At less than half the weight of my old studio monster, its compactness and lightness are great when I need to travel. The ball head is wonderful for just about any application, and the quick release makes it easy to swap bodies or move the camera to another set while leaving this one in the same position for later. Another application for an ultra-large tripod is height. Some of the most dramatic images can only be made from up here. For me, the combination of an ultra-wide angle lens and a 7-foot elevation makes the critical difference between an everyday image and something with a unique perspective. Without a tripod like this, you're not going to have a tall, stable platform for creating consistent, dynamic images, especially when combining natural light with strobes. In the studio or in the field, this unit performs some heavy tasks. I mentioned earlier that one of my favorite tools is the carbon fiber monopod. When it comes to working with anything that moves, this is my tool of choice, especially in the studio. Tune into any pro sporting event and you'll no doubt see the phalanxes of shooters lined up along the sidelines with big, high-speed telephotos on sturdy monopods. Beyond the need to freeze action, especially given the capability of today's ultra-high ISOs and image-stabilizing lenses, Serious sports shooters will clue you in to the unique assets the monopod provides. Maneuverability with consistent framing. Those assets, my friends, are vital when working with fitness models in the studio. One of the advantages of digital capture is the immediate feedback we get, and that has allowed many shooters to loosen up and further develop their style. For me, the monopod really helps to scope out a subject from every angle while simultaneously keeping framing consistency when working with cyclists, fitness models, okay, and in this great. case, yogini and nutrition specialists 
Eloise Put Nelson, who was holding a precarious Come Asana for a pre-visualized composite image. Perfect. You name the sports discipline. When movement is involved, the monopod ball head combo is the tool for assuring you're capturing that great moment, whether you're out in the field or inside the studio. When it comes to traveling, hiking into the wild, or just shooting alone, there is just no excuse for heading out without an ultralight, ultra-compact tripod. At just over two pounds, it can make the difference between an iconic image and an unusable one. After taking the time and making the effort to be in a remarkable place, why take the chance of not getting that amazing shot? This little trooper has all of the features of its bigger siblings, weatherproof seals, weight clip, level, and leg knockouts for rough, uneven terrain. This is a mandatory tool when I'm out shooting late sky, deep light images for both my surreal nature panoramas as well as backgrounds for my composites, especially with long lenses. Well, there you have it. Three essential tools for assuring great images in both the studio and location, whatever your subject or discipline. Once again, I'd like to thank Enduro for supplying these products, which I believe represent a host of well-thought-out features and quality build at an excellent value. These are benefits to consider for every shooter, from the student, the artist, to the working pro. This is Jeff Boxer, signing out. All the best.